close your eyes and start the meditation with thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for happiness, a happiness that comes from within, a happiness that's reliable. And because we're wishing for a true happiness, there's no real conflict between your true happiness and anyone else's, because it has to come from within if it's going to be true. It has to be based on doing skillful things. This is what's Buddhist in the practice of spreading good thoughts of goodwill. Because we think about karma, we think about where does happiness come from. It doesn't come simply because you wish that other people be happy. If they're going to be happy, it has to come from their own skillful actions. If you're going to be happy, it has to come from your skillful actions. So that's what we're wishing. When you spread goodwill to yourself, may I understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. For other people, may they be, understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. This is a wish you can have for anyone, ideally. But there are so many cases in the world where you say, oh, I'd like to see so-and-so suffer first. They behaved in such a horrible way. Justice wouldn't be done if they didn't suffer some. But this is the problem with the world. Everyone's imposing their notions of justice on everybody else. That's why there's so much struggle, so much conflict. It would be better just to say, may people come to their senses. If they're behaving in unskillful ways, may they come to their senses and realize that they can continue acting those ways and be happy at the same time. Of course, you have to have that attitude yourself. If you're going to spread thoughts of goodwill, it doesn't stop with the meditation. It's not the sort of thing where you get up from the meditation and you no longer have a lap. In the same way, when you get up from spreading thoughts of goodwill, you no longer have it. You put it there at the meditation seat. It has to be something you carry into the day. And this is where goodwill differs from dedicating merit. If you dedicate merit to someone else, okay, you're done. It's up to them to decide whether they want to appreciate your merit or not. If they do, then it's theirs. If they don't, well, you, you don't lose anything, but you're not committed to anything further than the dedication. But with thoughts of goodwill, though, you're committing yourself, because that's where the true benefit of goodwill lies, is as you reflect on your own intentions as you deal with other people. You want to make sure you act on skillful intentions when you speak with them, when you act toward them, when you think about them, and carry that through all your activities in the day. Because it's not a question of whether other people deserve your goodwill or not. If you wanted to give goodwill only to people who are absolutely pure, you'd have a hard time finding recipients for your goodwill. But you remind yourself that you have to keep your intentions in order. After all, if you have ill will for somebody, you're going to do something harmful. And you never know how much harm that's going to create. Think of the case of Angulimala. There were a lot of people who were not satisfied with the Fact, simple fact that the Buddha got Angulimala to stop killing people, and Angulimala actually became an arahant. There are a lot of people who felt that justice wasn't done. After all, he killed all those people. He should die too. That's what they thought. And so when he was on his alms round, they would throw things at him. He'd come back sometimes with his robes torn, his bowl broken, his head bashed open. But he bore with it. Of course, that became their karma, having thrown things at an arahant. So you have to be careful about who you impose your ideas of justice on, and have instead the attitude that may all beings see the light, understand that they can't be happy, truly happy, at the same time that they're doing unskillful things. And may they start acting in skillful ways. And as for me, may I act in skillful ways too. Set that up as your intention. It's actually part of right resolve. Get you on the path. So if you develop thoughts of goodwill in these, these ways, with these thoughts, okay, it actually gets you on the path. It's not just generic goodwill, which everybody all over the world will talk about. It's goodwill that actually is conducive to putting you on the path to the end of suffering. <laughs>